What's up guys? Coming at you from Northeast Maryland today. I'm at Steak in Maine here to take on the Great Steak Challenge. Bunch of different cuts of steak, some sides. Should be delicious. I'm here joined by Killer Kennedy who's back over there. Uh, Molly Schuyler who actually has the current record here at 317. I'm not going to get anywhere near 317. I don't even know that I'm going to try to speed through this because like I said, it's steak, it's gonna be delicious. So I'll see you here in a minute when the food comes out. All right, so the Great Steak Challenge, what we got here is uh, your veal chop. You don't have to eat the bone, get as clean as you can. We have the two Delmonico steaks, which adds up to 26 ounces. We have your New York strip, flat iron steak on the bottom and your filet mignon on the top. Um, when it comes to eating this, cha this challenge, people have told me that they get fatigue in the jaw and stuff like that. So your most, most tender steaks, maybe your New York strip and your uh, filet mignon, if you want to save that to last if you're worried about it. Um, other than that, you guys chose sides. You chose eight ounces of french fries and eight ounces of cream corn. You chose eight ounces of mashed potatoes and eight ounces of cream corn. So there's your challenge, five and a half pounds of food. Two, one, and you go. And go. Start with the fries. Smallest gun on my cat that's already stuck to bring her in. Very good. Come on, let's play it. For this challenge, the first thing that I decided to eat was the veal chop. Um, I'm pretty sure that I had never had veal before this. Uh, it was definitely, definitely good. So I mean, try it if you ever uh, have the chance to. Uh, well, it was good here. I can't vouch for any other uh, restaurant, but definitely, uh, definitely pretty good. Wasn't my favorite thing on this uh, challenge, though. My favorite thing was actually the filet mignon, which uh, is usually my go-to if I actually go to a steakhouse and order a steak. By the way, Molly was done by now, just to give you guys a little reference for doing the challenge here. So the second steak that I started into here was actually the uh, 16 ounce flat iron, which I think was actually my second favorite steak, even though supposedly it's the, um, the least tender of the steaks in this challenge. Um, I'd have to say that my favorite, um, from favorite to least favorite, I mean they were all good. Uh, but favorite to least favorite steak here, I'd have to say it was the filet mignon, and then the flat iron, then the New York strip, the veal chop, and the Delmonico last. All of these steaks are good so far. thousand times better than the last state challenge that I did. And you can actually cut this. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments what uh, your favorite cut of steak is or what you would have started with had you been taking this challenge on and what sides would you have chosen. Um, I obviously went with cream corn and uh, mashed potatoes. I was going to go with regular corn uh, but they had run out so that's uh, why I opted for the uh, cream corn. It was still pretty good though. I'm not sure if I'm leaving anything out, but I believe the sides that you could choose from were broccoli rabe, asparagus, mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, french fries, and green beans. Oh, and corn. 
Try some of this for Leo. Mr. Report, Mr. Report. I had to make a cameo, Andy. Good. So, John, you're now second place behind Molly. I'd have to say that the Great Steak Challenge at Steak in Maine is definitely one of the best tasting food challenges that I've taken on so far since I've been doing food challenges. Uh, I would probably put it up there in like the top five of the best tasting that I've done. Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, Steak in Maine definitely knows what they're doing. This is part of the challenge, and we have to chug ketchup. Chug it. That's part of your challenge. That way, it's a yeah, it's your prize, right? Steak juice running down my face. So we're coming up on the end of the video now. Um, I'm actually just cutting into the last Delmonico and I have some cream corn left. Uh, I wish that uh, all restaurant food challenges were this enjoyable. I didn't really want to rush it um, as it was steak and it was actually like good quality, um, cooked well, seasoned well. So I felt there was no real need to try to uh, eat super fast when you have an hour to finish the challenge. Uh, it's one of those challenges you almost have to just like sit back and enjoy. Perhaps sometime if they let me I'll go back and uh, just use my hands and try to eat the challenge as fast as possible. But that would almost be a shame as it was really, really good. I hope that all of you enjoyed uh, watching the video as much as I enjoyed eating these steaks. And if you're ever in the area, I definitely recommend that you stop in and at least get a steak. But with that being said, I'll let you guys get back to the rest of the video. Acceptable. Yeah, I'm not thinking when it comes back. Delicious challenge. Definitely recommend if you're ever in this area, stop in and get yourself a steak. Maybe don't get the challenge, or maybe try it if you're feeling hungry. But hope you all liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Make sure you check Killer's channel out when he posts his video. Yeah, eat a steak.
catch you guys on the next one.